All right, guys, well, we just watched the latest episode of Merit at First Sight, and we have got a lot to talk about. Man, that was crazy. How did you sleep? Like a rock, honestly. Katie and Derek, they're doing really well, but out of nowhere, she brings up like spending too much time together. We've been spending literally 24 seven together. That's like a lot for me. You think everything is, you know, butterflies and lollipops and she just comes out of left field with that. It's like, yeah, whoa, we, whoa, whoa, wait a whoa, minute. whoa. I need to take time to myself to like figure out how I'm feeling and figure out what I need. And but maybe he is a little clingy. Don't ever oh, leave me, don't ever leave me. Back. Sorry, do you need space? <laughs> Yeah, that was a little too much. I do feel like I'm starting to like build that connection with you. Mm. Nika and Michael. I, I, I don't know. I mean, they're trying. It's feeling more natural, which is kind of like what I've been wanting. Hopefully he's done saying stupid Stop. He said he wanted sex Michael, before the end of the honeymoon. Michael is learning how to talk to females. Yeah. <laughs> Talk the females, he's just now learning that. There's like some, you know, health etiquette that I would like you to follow. I love Mika in the beginning, but I think you gotta tone it down a little bit. If you wake up earlier than me, do not wake me up. <laughs> Mika pulled the rule book out. She, I, I was like, one. damn, Mika. Most of the bed belongs to me. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, it should be half and half. Back up! <laughs> I got you. Like right now, from what we see, it seems healthy, it seems genuine. It's, although slow pace, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bring it in. This has been an eye-opening week, I guess. Do you feel like we made mistakes doing this? Zach is getting the hell on my nerves. Today, I noticed that you weren't wearing your ring. It hurt my feelings. It really did. This is marriage at first sight. The ring shows your commitment to not only the person, but to the sanctity of marriage right off the bat. It feels like it would be easier when we're back in DC. Help me figure this out. I just don't like the fact that Zach can't never answer a straight answer. Ever. The Indy 500 running around, <laughs> going around in circles, circle, turn left, turn left, turn left, straight circles. You're asking me what you should do no, to no, no, make no, you no. more attracted to me. No, no, no. Like, he won't even say it. Like, are you not physically attracted to her? Or are you not emotionally attracted to her? What is it? What is it? Just tell her. The guy's a head. Like, I, I, I don't know. I mean. I thought the hair would do something. I thought the hair she would. She said it. She said <laughs> it right when she said he was a head. I mean, come on. My husband told me he wasn't attracted to me. Like, if he's not giving her the affection on their honeymoon, yeah. what the This is my better side. You already told you that. Yeah, you yeah. remember. <laughs> Jessica and Austin are doing OK. I wasn't expecting to go into this and feel like I have a best friend already. I do feel like there's some rocks in the road ahead for them, not big ones, like maybe pebble size. I'm just worried that maybe it's too easy. Like, why is it so easy? You yeah. never know. It might be a uh, trouble in paradise. Uh... But you don't know. And their issue, which is funny because it was ours, I'm like, it's too good to be true. Close the doors. I love how Jessica said, shut that door at the end she of the said, night. Make sure it's tightly locked. Because it's about to go down. Come on, there's still a seal. Wait. What's wrong? Chat play me. <laughs> I'm not trying to play you. I'm just trying to follow your story. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. He flipped the f out at the end of the episode. You got an AJ moment? <laughs> I mean, you're gonna throw me on the spot right now. I'm gonna have nothing for you. Yeah, and I understand that. I, I'm not trying to throw you on the spot. This is a very unnatural, uncomfortable situation, especially in the first, they're still in the first week. You may lash out. It is it is out of character. You're not gonna know how they're gonna handle it or if that's how they handle every situation like yeah. that. I can see both sides of the fence. On Brennan, it's like, I just wanna go out without you guys following me. Yeah. But on the other hand, it's like, dude, you signed up to- You're literally be here followed. to be filmed. Right. <laughs> I tell Brandon that the difficult person that you're being on camera is not somebody I really want to be married to. I do think it was wrong for Taylor to say, I don't want to see the side of you and I don't want to be married to that side of you. I think Taylor was wrong for saying that. I think Brandon was wrong for treating the producer like that because like the producer said, they're just there to do their job. They're doing their job. I'll calm down when I'm in Washington. That's all for tonight's episode of Couples Couch, and we will see you next time.